guys, free pick time, kind of. All right, so a little bit different today, guys. Uh, normally, I like to get these videos out around 11, noon, somewhere around there. Uh, it's now 5.20 p.m., all right? So 5.20 p.m. Eastern time. Um, this is gonna be like an unofficial play. I'm gonna give you guys something that was on my card today, but I'm gonna have a little bit of fun with it, um, and I'm gonna explain to you why. So first and foremost, um, I wanted to give you guys out a hits prop, okay? So hits prop simply is you're betting whether both teams combined are gonna get over or under a certain amount of hits. So if the hits total was 16 and a half, if both teams combined get 17 hits, you win. If they get 15, you lose, right? Um, can't offer that. I'll tell you why. So we've been hammering this so hard at DraftKings that DraftKings has literally taken this bet away as an option. They are no longer offering this bet going forward. Um, so the old adage that you can shear a sheep many times, but skin it only once is not something that we really kind of focused on during this. So shame on us for kicking the shit out of DraftKings and DraftKings said that you guys are having too much fun. So, uh, we're taking it away. Um, a lot of talk about that in our, uh, you know, Facebook group, et cetera, et cetera, but it is what it is. Look, there's other options out there for other books that you can bet these types of plays on. They're just a little bit less mainstream. Um, so we're going to do something different. I was going to give one of those out, but, uh, I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to give out something a little bit different. Now, before I do guys, um, I just want to talk, why would you want to bet hits props versus say, you just bet the team total over. You say, Bender, you like the hits over. So why, why wouldn't you just bet the game over? Well, hits do not always equal runs. All right. There are certain conditions where, um, you can maximize value by just betting hits in a game because, what typically low total games mean that Vegas priced the line for low hits, right? They just, they correlate these and that's a mistake. That is a mistake that Vegas makes where they think that, okay, the totals, you know, seven or seven and a half, therefore there's not going to be a lot of hits. Incorrect. Okay. Um, there's often situations where you can have very, very good hitting conditions where you're going to get a lot of singles, a lot of doubles, maybe some triples mixed in and not a lot of home runs. You can have situations where there's excellent hitting conditions for ball contact. You can see about a four to 5% increase in ball contact, but hitting a ball 103 miles an hour at a 32% launch angle is only going to take it 398 feet. That's not a home run. It should be a home run, but it isn't right. So hitting does not always equate to more runs. So that is why we want to focus on that. And then the same is reverse true, right? Look at the Yankee game the other day, okay? Total goes over, bunch of home runs, not a lot of base runners, okay? Not a lot of, or I should say not a lot of hits, right? Something to think about guys is the way they can maximize value. And we were just hammering the hell out of um, DraftKings. So they said, no moss. So anyways, um, if you're interested in full card, guys, benderwins.com, $99 a month gets you my full card every single day, plus all my masterclass educational videos. I'm hurrying guys like TikTok gives me a limited amount of time and I want to do some more educating. Um, we lost yesterday. We're 112 wins and 70 losses on the year. Here's what I want to do today, guys. We are going to bet Michael A. Taylor on Kansas City, total bases over one and a half, plus 210. So plus 210, Michael A. Taylor to get basically two bases. That does not include walks. Okay, people ask me that. No, this is singles, doubles, triples, homers. Here's the math. Okay, we need him to get two bases. He's going to get a home run or an extra base hit about 8% of the time. Now, if we figure he gets four plate appearances, not at bats, four plate appearances, we're going to win 32% of the time just based on that. Now, in the past six games, he's managed to get two hits in three of those games, okay? Another 12% opportunity that he gets two hits or more in this game. That is another way in which we can win. So if we combine the fact he could get two singles, okay, 12%, and extra base hit, 33, uh, yeah, 30, sorry, 32%, um, that gives us 44%. So we have a 44% chance to win, right? Wrong. No, we do not. Because we have to discount now hit by pitch, walks, and him being pinch hit for. We have to discount that, take it off. That's going to decrease our win percentage by 6%. Okay. That means that we are going to win this bet 38% of the time. Okay. Give or take 38% of the time. But that means the true line should be plus 163, not plus 210. We have value. And that is what we look for in sports betting, right? So the unofficial play today, guys, I'm going to be back earlier with a play. Um, hopefully, you know, these books stop taking bets away from us. Benderwins.com for a full card.